All right, so it sounds like they have a lot of discussions to have. He, Larry Rothschild, some of the other powers that be in terms of what to do with Sonny Gray. One thing I thought that was a little bit insightful that he said was when he was so good his last three, he was able to continue to focus. And clearly, that was a problem today. When he got in certain situations, he couldn't think his way out of it. I think you're right, Bob. And I think if you read the tea leaves, we're sensing that Aaron Boone and the Yankees are, for the first time, getting close to thinking that perhaps Sonny Gray might have to be lifted from the rotation and might have to figure this out in the bullpen. You talked about how he didn't like the fact, or not that he didn't like it, but he wishes that Sonny Gray would have figured things out. When he gave up those hits in the second inning, a lot of those hits were early in the count. He gave up five hits. Four of those hits were on the first or second pitch of the at-bat, so he wasn't getting deep into counts. He was struggling in that inning because he lost his curveball. Bob, he's made 146 appearances at the major league level. 144 of them in starts. The only two times he ever relieved his first two appearances ever for the Oakland A's in 2013. Since then, 144 straight starts. But that being said, he would not be the first starting pitcher who had to go to the bullpen to try and figure things out. Right now, Lynn, based on today, looks like a better option to start against the White Sox on Monday. And coming into the start, we said the theme over his last three was simplified, streamlined, that kind of thing. Maybe he either got away from that or it became too simple and he couldn't figure things out. When we say that, he made sure that the curveball was very effective in his last three starts. Something happened with that pitch today. Maybe it was mechanical, maybe it was something else, but he was leaving it up in the zone and getting hit. Yeah, I'm curious what he's going to say about that because you're exactly right. That pitch had been such an equalizer for him across his last starts against his curve. Batters were two for 26 with 12 strikeouts. I talked to Austin Romine about this and he said, we get ahead with the two seam fastball we bend it across the inside corner against lefties we backdoor it against righties then suddenly you're in a commanding position you throw that curveball he never got into that commanding position today and when he tried to throw the curveball he struggled with it 15 curveballs in the second or third inning four of them hits were uh, collected against seven of them were balls so he just didn't have a feel for that pitch and when he didn't have that that spelled disaster